Ooh. Okay. Got my notes. I'm going to be doing some book reviews on two books about chaos magic. And I usually drink tea, so if you want to grab a beverage, then please do. I'm drinking Shanghai Dreams by Ku Cha Tea that was given to me by a lovely viewer. Uh, thank you. I will be back. Kucha is one of my favorite brands. I'm gonna try to keep these brief and just go through kind of the bullet points of what I felt was important and what I got from these books. So yeah. First book. Chaos Protocols by Gordon White is going to be the first book we're checking out here. It's not that big of a book, though it's not a read in a day type of book or even a few days, maybe a few days if you like really sit down and focus, but uh, it's it's dense despite the small size. Overall, I had kind of mixed feelings about it just because there's a lot of things in there that just didn't personally connect with me and how I practice. So that's not to say that it was really a bad book. It just meant that I didn't personally connect uh, a ton to it. However, I got a lot of really good interesting tidbits. There was a lot of studies that he references as well as some good quotes and thought-provoking information and points and perspectives that he does make throughout the book. So I did appreciate that. I would not say that this is a beginner's book. I know that a lot of my audience is beginner-based. This is not something that I would recommend for somebody who is just starting out because like I said, it is very dense and there are a lot of different ideas, perspectives, and concepts that I just think would overwhelm the beginner. Now, that being said, if you've been hanging out on the intermediate side for a while, then I would think that you should check this out. And like I said, it is an interesting read. There are a lot of really thought-provoking ideas in here. He pulls a lot from different experiments that have been held. He touches on things like near-death experiences, probability, psychology, and especially when it comes to things like sigils, why they would and wouldn't work, and even throws in um, a little bit of history and economics in there. I do have mixed feelings overall about the book, and I do think a big part of that is because it doesn't really connect with me and how I practice and my full perspective, though I did get some interesting perspectives and I thought that it was very thought-provoking and um, I did get some little nuggets of wisdom here and there throughout the whole entire book. So good information, but it did have this tone, kind of feel like I was listening to a lecture from a college professor. So that's the first book. Like I said, trying to keep it to bullet points when it comes to my book reviews so that I don't just ramble. The next book we've got is Hands On Chaos Magic by Andrea Vitimus. I probably pronounced that wrong. I hope I didn't, I'm sorry. But. This book was wildly different from the previous book, though they are both based on chaos magic. The, everything about this book is completely different, basically. Much heftier than the other one, as you can see. I have here in my notes that I wouldn't suggest it to beginners, but the more I thought about it, I kind of would. I think I would. <laughs> the reason for that is because it is kind of similar the way it's set up to Psychic Witch, if you remember that book review. This is a huge book, a Bible, if you will, of energy manipulation exercises. And I like the way it's set up because it starts off with complete foundation basics, like complete foundation basics of energy manipulation. And as you go through the book, it gives you more and more exercises and experiments to try working with those foundations and basics that you previously learned about and hopefully put to practice that you can then build on and create this structure of a practice. This book is something that I really wish I had when I was starting out or leaning into my more intermediate side of my practice because I think that it would have helped so much to have all of this information in one place. Energy manipulation, the reason I had such a tough time trying to figure out if I would give this book to a beginner or not is because I know that if somebody is just beginning, it would be very, very overwhelming just because of the amount of information and the amount of exercises that are offered. However, energy manipulation is so important in a craft because we can talk about how intention Try not to go on a tangent. This is kind of why... <sighs> okay. This is kind of like how 
intention is everything. So with that statement, I don't agree, but I do. <laughs> so again, maybe we'll make an over tea video on that. I don't know, but where was I going with this? Energy manipulation, good Lord. Understanding how to mold, direct, attract, and shift, manipulate energy around you is so ridiculously important in a craft. And without that, without that full understanding, there's so much missing. I'm trying to figure out how to put this into words fully, but like I said, we could probably make a whole over T video about that, but I would have to outline that so that it's not like a 45 minute ramble that just goes in circles. Let's get back to the book. What the fuck was I talking about? Energy manipulation, it's important. So that's why I think I would give this to beginner, despite the fact that I do think that it would overwhelm them. I do think that it would be so ridiculously helpful and would accelerate your manifestations and your progress as a practitioner so much when you understand how to manipulate energy. Now, another thing I like about this is that a lot of these exercises in this book don't require tools and being a beginner you feel like you need to go out and get all these tools and buy all these things when you don't you just slowly accumulate these things over the years trust me in reality you don't need any tools you can manipulate energy around you at any given time and it's just like any skill the more you practice the better you get having exercises to do that with is so wildly helpful and one thing that I really liked was that it does provide exercises that require partners. It does kind of give you a step-by-step -step on how to experiment with your spell work, which is so important. And again, this is another, this could be another over T video in and itself, that spell work, you can just throw things together, but when you find that perfect recipe, it is kind of like cooking or baking, when you find that perfect recipe, you know exactly what you're gonna get. Which is why I'm hesitant to share spells that I'm experimenting with or things of that sort because I personally feel like none of my spells are ready. Again, that's a totally different tangent. And so I, I talk a little bit more about that in this video. So if you wanna check that out, but <laughs> there's so much information here that is so incredibly helpful and informative for a craft, but because there is so much, it's overwhelming. So like I said, yes, I think I would end up giving this to a beginner. Overall, compared to the last book, as I said, that Chaos Protocols did have that tone of a, a college professor lecture, this one had so much more of a playfulness to it, which was really unexpected. Good unexpected, but very unexpected. And it was very, just have fun with it. You know, try these very simple, exercises and just have fun with it. And I, I love that because one of my favorite quotes is life is a playground. You're just having fun with what you have. I think that's important. And it's a mixed bag. <laughs> it is. It's kind of a little mixed bag. So I, I really like this book. I'm, I'm really excited to add this to my library. So that is the two books that I've got for you. I tried to keep it condensed though. I did go on some tangents, but what are you going to do? Um, I hope that you enjoyed both of these books I got from the Witch's Box subscription box. This video isn't sponsored. I, that's just where I got them. And they send you books every single month and uh, talk about it on their forums. And they have like a little Zoom meeting that you can meet up with everybody else who read the books and kind of chat about it. And very often they get the authors on there so you can ask them questions and it's a lot of fun. That's all I have for you today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Olivia, and as always, best of luck, be kind to each other, and may your gods treat you as you have treated others. Mm -hmm.